Hey guys, what's going on? Jeremy LaFrance, Backstage Entertainment, again here at LaserFest 2013 with none other than Trevor, Thousand Foot Crutch, TFK. Do you guys, I mean, do you guys prefer Thousand Foot Crutch? No, or man, TFK? whatever you want. It's easier whatever. to say TFK, so yeah. we kind of go with that. Yeah, exactly. We were just talking before the interview, you had something very special happen a few weeks ago. You became Dude. a first time dad. Absolutely, man. Yeah, yeah brand, three week old baby boy, man. Yeah. It's uh, changed, changing my world. It's exactly. awesome. I told you I have a 10 month old now, and it's, yes. uh, fatherhood is amazing. So, Absolutely. anybody out there that has kids, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. But Dude, uh, So awesome. Yeah. It's been an amazing adventure already, you know, I'm only a month in. but Is it kind of hard now being away from home? Yeah, this is actually my first time away, you know. Okay. So, uh, yeah, you know, it's funny how much you can miss a little guy you've only, yep. you know, had for like a month. But, right. yeah, it's pretty pretty amazing though, man. What a, what a life changer. Exactly. Awesome. Exactly, okay. Thousand Foot Crutch, you're at the radio festival day. We said Laser Fest. I yeah, have a lot of bands here, like 12 to 14 bands, something like that. Is there any bands that you guys connect with well and you know friends off stage and everything too? Dude, man, yeah, we dig a lot of these bands, man. We I mean, we grew up on Bush, you know? Yep. Uh, so that's pretty pretty special for us to be able to uh, share this day with those guys and kind of get to actually see them live and yep. that sort of thing. So that'll be fun, but yeah, man, we dig all these bands. We're kind of, uh, some of them we've toured with before, some of them we, we're meeting for the first time today, but. It's awesome, man. We feel blessed to be a part of it. Exactly. The end is where we begin. Yeah. Uh, released April 2012. You know, is it a little bit, uh, I guess, is it nicer playing songs as they've matured, or what do you prefer, or otherwise after the album's been released? So do you, what do you oh. prefer playing the songs off of the new album with? They're, they're both kind of fun in their own way, man. It's always exciting as a band when you've been playing a record for a few years, you know, to get out and play some, try out some yeah. new material, but in the same sense, once it's been out for a while and people, you know, some people have actually heard it and kind of know it, it's, yeah. it's, it's a blast to kind of connect on that level too, you know, and just kind of observe and see how much you know something is connecting or not and yeah. so yeah it's it's been awesome man we've been really fortunate and having a blast at laser fest dude this is our first time here so yeah so uh fly on the wall is the single i've heard i've heard it on sirius xm octane um you know what's what's it like uh you know getting that recognition on you know satellite radio like that and you know just getting your song out to the fans like that man uh you know it's it's an incredible experience man we uh, i don't know if you know this but about well, right before this record came out, we actually chose to go independent. We kind of left yeah. EMI, and yeah. so we, we have our own team and put everything out independently. And we wanted to make music with the people who support this band, you know, yeah. and just kind of take away the middleman. And so it's been awesome, man. And to be able to release the record this way and, and the single and just the way that that's kind of organically been happening, uh, it's been a huge blessing, man. It's just it's awesome to see kind of just how, how the song or the record is connecting and just kind of see... Uh, people's reactions yeah. to that it's it's special man for sure we, we don't take it for granted at all so yeah. yeah what would you say if fans are checking out the interview first time and hear about thousand foot crutch from here yeah man a top song you think they should listen to first to make them a fan oh uh, man it depends so what you're into we i mean yeah. uh we kind of cover different bases you know we have some yeah. a lot of heavier stuff and some some mellower yeah. stuff i would say if you uh if you if you dig heavier music if that's your vibe i would say check out uh let the sparks fly yeah and or light up the sky this is going to be our next single and about, then uh, uh move yeah or or you know you can go back we've been around <laughs> since high back, school man, man. so we back. we uh, have a few <laughs> records but yeah man move would be a great one too yeah. if you're if you're into the mellower stuff man i would say so far gone off the new record or uh breathe you in or one of those but right. already home okay. yeah I'm sure you get a lot of questions about this, but you, I see the tattoo here. Yeah, man. All right, explain to the fans. I'm sure. I, have you done it in a lot of interviews? I'm sure. Yeah, no. You know what, though, dude? It's. Uh, I actually don't really have a great story. It's just. Okay. It's something kind of into the clean black line thing, yeah. and my personality is kind of. Quick. It's, it's like. Kinda, a, I don't know if it's a yeah, armband it's or what. It's either a yeah. cover up or an armband. <laughs> Yeah, my personality is kind of all or nothing, man, and so it's to me it just kind of uh, I guess represents that a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Great. So, um, let's do this. Uh, uh, oh, I do have one more question because I want to ask about this because you guys actually got a song uh, used for WWE Over the Limit 2012. Yeah. Fans that watch our interviews know that I'm a big WWE fan. Nice. So how did that happen? How did you guys get involved with WWE? Um, their their campaign reached out to us. Actually, okay. we've over the years we've done a lot of work with a lot of professional sports and ESPN yeah. and NASCAR and all that kind of stuff and Super Bowl and so it's kind of just built into this 
thing on its own, you know, as far as the connection with, with sports and extreme games and stuff. And so with uh, UFC or WWE, uh, those doors, uh, we you know, very blessed to have them open. So they kind of opened their door and said, hey, you know, we'd like you to be a part of this. And we were just honored to be a, a small part of what they're doing. So, yeah, that was exciting for us, man. This is a good way to have fan reach because they have a massive fan build. Dude, so. It's so cool, man. Yeah. And uh, especially UFC and, uh, and WWE, you know, they really support rock and hard rock. And that's... Right you know, keep it, keeping that going strong. And so that's exciting to, to be a part of, man. Awesome. All right, now we'll get into this. I uh, talked to you, we have our BSC box. Fans have found Backstage Entertainment on Facebook and liked our page to get questions in here for bands we interview. So what we'll do is we have this process. We just added uh, this action words with it as well. So I'll take you through the process right. uh, step by step because it can be confusing at first. So Teach let's, me the ways. All right, draw a question. Okay, now we'll read it first. Have you ever had a bowel movement or gotten sick on stage? I warn you, they're crazy <laughs> questions. So <laughs> That's um, amazing. Exactly. Now, pick a number 1 through 55. I'm going to go with 7. Okay, so as you answer this, you have to act like you're a little kid that doesn't get what they want. <laughs> <laughs> so we're doing actions while you do this. So it's going to add some fun into this. <laughs> Little kid that doesn't you know, get what he wants. If you don't like this, we'll let you pass if you want to try another one. But if, if you want to take a stab at it, go for it. I'm going to pick another one. I, okay. I, I kind of just want to see what you got going on. It's, okay. You, got, you just want to see what, as many options we got. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, Let's roll so, the dice a bit. Uh, I'm going to go 13. Okay. Lucky 13. Ooh, excited by ugliness. <laughs> so maybe you got... Uh, pretend, I'm hoping I'm not, but it. pretend I'm ugly and then you're excited by it. <laughs> Have know. you ever had a bowel a movement or gotten one. sick on stage? <laughs> and what was that again? That excited was to act excited that you're ugly. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, don't even know how to, I don't even know how to do that one, but I'll go for it. Okay. I have, I have gotten sick on stage. It was incredible. I, uh, I was in Chicago, kind of puked in my mouth while I was performing, and uh, it, was, uh, it was a pretty incredible event. You know, it's, it's a once-in-a-lifetime thing. Don't knock it till you try it. That's right. <laughs> it's more like that, excited. That was, that was you know? my pseudo yeah, yeah, excited. You're good. You're good. I won't take any offense to that. All right. You want to try another one? Let's do it, man. I'm, I'm in. Let's do it. Let's throw these up here. There you go. I'm digging to the bottom. Let's see what's up. We got a new one. There's a new one. What has been your biggest embarrassment on stage? These are digging at me on stage. Yeah. Um, and now I got to pick a number? Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. My biggest embarrassment on stage. Let's go... 21. Actually 12, sorry. Okay. 12. Paranoid. Paranoid. <laughs> we got something on the bus you're not supposed to and... Ah, uh, my, my most embarrassing moment on stage is probably, uh... Ah, uh, it was actually, I was on stage and this club a long time ago and, uh, was, kind of took a step off in between the monitor and the stage, there was this crack like this big, and they just laid carpet over top of it. So no one told me about this thing. So I actually jumped up in the air, full blown, landed with like this much of my leg, just Ooh. completely fell right off stage and just like basically bagged myself. <laughs> well, playing a show. Did injury was, come out of that? It was or? pretty awesome. Uh, actually, incredibly not. I don't know oh, how. Wow. I don't know how not, but. Okay, well, good. good. <laughs> All but right. You tell us. That was my stop, paranoid right? version. You want to do another one? You tell us when to stop. Or you can say one more and I'm done. Let's do one more. Okay. Let's do one more. This scares a lot of people away. <laughs> <laughs> but we also have fun. What bands are you good friends with? All right. We kind of talked about that a little bit, but uh, in general now, not just here at the okay. at the festival today. Generality. Uh, let's go number two. Okay. <laughs> because the first question was about number two. This is the third. We've done interviews today, and this is the third time this one's been drawn. But Angry Driver. Let's see if you can do that. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. I'm so tired right now. This, this is. These are bad acting skills. Don't expect much. We know musicians aren't the greatest actors. So. <laughs> what, what bands are you friends with? One of my good friends. Frick! One of my best friends is probably uh, Three Days Grace. He uh, grew up in my hometown kind of hometown boys we used to have a house together love those dudes uh, that was a horn by the way that's my fake horn um, yeah three days grace man uh, I would say my darkest days kind of uh, a lot of a lot of great Canadian bands finger 11 stuff like that we kind of came up with man and uh, art of dying some other good buddies that yeah. we love to, to support yeah. man and uh, 
There's a few. I kind of lost my edge as a driver there. I think I crashed. That's fine. That's fine. You you answered. You've opened the door though. What what are, what's your take on uh, Adam and everything with three days of grace? You know what? I I kind of uh, a, a little bit stuck in the middle with that. Kind of yeah. kind of friends with yeah. both. I I, w I mean. Yeah, I, I can't say too much about it. I, don't, I, I hope it's that... It's a tough subject to answer, especially yeah, as another I, I band. Get, we don't know the whole story. Right. But. I guess all I could say is, you know, it's sad to see it happen, but, I, you know, I, uh, I know Neil and the rest of the guys that are carrying on as Three Days Grace yeah. are just incredible guys with great hearts and are, are passionate about it. And so, you know, I, I hope the best for them, man. They seem to be doing great. I mean, I Matty's think, a, yeah. a great singer. Matt has stepped up. He really has, I think. So, so uh, yeah, man, I, th I think it's uh, definitely can be a cool thing and yeah. I hope it works out well for them man awesome. definitely last message you want to leave the fans with today what do you want to let them know dude we uh, we appreciate you guys so much so I just want to say thanks on behalf of TFK thank you so much we'd love to hang with you guys at a show soon check out thousandfootcrutch.com we have a free app as well in the app store if you want to check out get news and when we're coming to your city and all that but man we love you we thank you God bless you guys man thanks so much there you have it Trevor thousand foot crutch definitely check them out Hey everyone, make sure to like Backstage Entertainment on Facebook to see our photos, to enter yourself into contests for autographed prizes, and other news. Also, make sure to click the subscribe button on YouTube to check out the rest of our videos. And you can find us on Twitter to get updates about what we're doing. For Backstage Entertainment, this is Jeremy LaFrance.